Big game coverage live from Glendale, Arizona. Powered by AA Best Bail Bonds, Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds, Texas Cheer, and by 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. There are days that I love my job, and then there's days I adore my job. This is one of both. So you're welcome back to r r in the morning here on San Antonio Sports Star. He is Rudy J. I'm Rob Thompson. Our radio row coverage continues from Phoenix. It's brought to you by AA Best Bail Bonds, Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds, and our good friends over at Texas Cheer Liquor. And while there's an awfully big game on Sunday here in beautiful downtown Glendale, Arizona, our Dome's hosting a party on Saturday night. We got a couple of belts on the line as Showtime presents a fantastic fight. We'd like to welcome on the show a good friend of ours, Steve Espinosa, the president of Showtime Sports. Man, good to see you on a Friday morning. Great to see you. And, and, And honestly, it's killing me not to be there in San Antonio. We got some obligations here, but you know we got a a great fight, and 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 San Antonio, a great fight town, you yeah. know, and that's been the case for you know forever, as long as people can remember a great fight town there in San Antonio. Uh, what what's the ceiling for San Antonio as far as like big fights? What do you feel like? You feel like look, it, they, they, could they get the Vegas like fights? Look, I, I I think so. It's you know especially they, if you've us. got a a, a, a Mexican or Mexican American you know fighter, you know you've had Chavez there, you know you've had a De La Hoya there. I, I think you're in the running for everything. I mean, they're good crowds, good population base, you know, a, a large area. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, absolutely. I mean, you're missing the casinos, but, you know, that's probably not, <laughs> not going to change on anytime it. soon. We're, we're doing our best. That's, we're that's working right. on it. Well, maybe yeah. we but can short it of done. that, you got everything it takes to, uh, to have a great fight town there in San Antonio. Now, we love us some Jerry. Uh, Jerry's been very good to San Antonio, um, and, and he has brought a lot of stuff to us. But how much of a role does he have getting those big fights away from us and up there? Because I know oh, there's been several Canelo point. fights that we would have loved to have had. Look, you've got that that shiny stadium, which is still one of the, one of the best in 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 the NFL, if not the world. And um, you know, we've been there with Errol Spence, and who's a hometown Dallas guy, Dallas and that's did, yeah. that's his his home one. So. Look, it, it's it's tough to compete, you know, when he rolls out that shiny stadium and and starts uh, flashing, you know, the big smile and, and the Texas draw. But, you know, San Antonio um, always, always supports its boxing, big, medium and small. And, and that's, you know, that's a critical part of the sport. It's well, really important uh, for a person in your position. Before we delve into the, the, the card that we got Saturday night, as we start this, the year and the boxing season really is starting to kick in as the bigger fights are being announced. Tell me the state of boxing in your mind. Where are we at? Are, are we better off this year than we were last? Where are we headed? And there, what do you see apart from you know, the obvious questions that need to be continued to be monitored? Look, um, I, I we've seen over the last about five years more boxing on more different platforms than anyone. I mean, we've seen networks get back into it with Fox. We've seen ESPN recommit to it. You know, we're going as strong as ever. You've got streaming platforms. So the reality is I think boxing is very, very healthy. Now there are some times where we we miss, you know. It everyone, happens. everybody does. Though. You know the, right. the the Spence Crawford, that you know that that's oh. one that was a big disappointment. People are gonna, you know, we're gonna still uh, try to try to make that happen um, before too long. But the reality is, you know, when we look at at the African American uh, households, if we look at Latino households, boxing is a top three sport. You know, it's wow. one of one of the, the three, and you know, in the, in terms of the mainstream audience, it's right up there with you know consistently with hockey and MMA and, and tennis, you know, sure. It, it's not the NFL, but what is nowadays? Right. And now t- talking about this card with Vargas and Foster, how do you, how do you and your, your, your team at Showtime, when do y'all say, okay, these two guys are ready for pay-per-view. They're ready for the big show. How, what goes all into it? Is it social? Is it the, the belts? Like how do y'all determine who's ready for the big time? You know, that's, that's the, the interesting part we were talking off air. That's, that's one of the fun parts of my job. My background is um, I originally started as, as an attorney. I was an entertainment attorney oh, okay. and I started representing Oscar De La Hoya and Mike Tyson. And that's how I ended up in the sport. Um, but part of it is being a talent scout right? and mm-hmm. figuring out where do we put our bets? You know, there's a the young guy, one of my favorite young men in the sport, uh, Mario Barrios. One of ours. Time, yeah. We love Mario. I mean, and so, you know, he's a guy that, you know, that one wasn't a tough bet to place. Right. <laughs> you know, he's a good looking kid, you know, well spoken, you know, he, good fighter. That one, it's sort of like, yeah, this this guy has all, it. you know, all all the charisma that that he needs and he'll go as far as his talent takes him. Um, you know, other guys, you know, it's sort of like, you know, 
Tank Davis, you know, when he was, we started, I started looking at him when he was, you know, about 18 years old and he's fighting off TV. And I didn't know that he would become as big as he has, he's but he's it's sort of that. Yeah, he's a star. Or a, a Deontay Wilder when we're doing, you know, he's sort of a skinny, somewhat well, awkward yes, kid. Long, and, yeah. and, Throws wild. And, you know, yeah. in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And sort of like, <laughs> I, I think this guy can become something. Right. But when you guys, you have somebody, the pedigree of a Ray Vargas who's got, you know, um, great pedigree, you know, a great team behind him, you know, and comes from that great Mexican tradition of, of brawlers. That's a, that's an easy one. He's um, he is definitely one of the sort of underappreciated, underrated fighters in the sport. Saturday night, you know where you need to be. Sit on the couch. Get ready for Sunday's big game on the couch watching a great fight on Showtime Championship Boxing. As they're coming back to San Antonio, they're going to be in a big old dome. Ray Vargas is taking on Oshaki Foster for the vacant WBC Super Featherweight World Champion. That's not all, though. We got San Antonio's own Mario Barrios going on against Giovanni Santiago, a ten round Mario. fight. We got vacated t- belts that are g- taken, and no better place than San Antonio. Now, boxing is great, but when I turn on Showtime, I, you know, you guys are very much involved. Your fingers are a lot of different pies, and uh, we had we were just talking about MMA, and mm-hmm. you, you guys are very much involved with Bellator and growing, in fact. Mm-hmm. And I ask you, is there any money in it? And you said, yes, there is. We're doing pretty well with it. Tell us about the encroaching UFC world onto boxing. You know, the, the, the reality is, look, we all know UFC is the 800-pound gorilla. Um, you know, they, they control it much like WWE controls pro wrestling. But as we've seen, AEW carve out a very good brand and, and do some great events. And uh, that's, that's where Bellator is around. I mean, we know UFC doesn't have a monopoly on the talent. And um, we've just announced this eight-man tournament with uh guys you know probably the two favorites um you know aj mckee and and usman um khabib's cousin are you know and those eight fighters i'll put those eight fighters in that lightweight division against the top eight fighters against any promotion in the world so look there's plenty of talent i mean there and and it's growing every every year so there's there's more than enough to support two organizations we're joined by steve espinosa he's the president of showtime sports uh Oh. Uh, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, I was. We were talking earlier this week when LeBron broke the record, right? And we called him the villain. And uh, we were talking before you came is with Floyd being gone, who's boxing's villain? Who's the guy that we're going to tune in and root to for him to lose? Like mm-hmm. that was a part of Floyd making money. Is there was a million people mm-hmm. that tuned in to watch mm-hmm. him lose? Who's the villain, or, or who's on the rise to be the villain? Or does it matter? Because well, he, we have a candidate that doesn't make us happy. Okay, um, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you a couple names. Okay, you know, and and I don't believe they are villains. No, I know yeah. right, but but there's there's a there's a chunk of the audience. Uh, the Charlo twins, you, you know, know the Charlo twins. Well, you know, well, they are they are <laughs> outspoken. They're they're, they're sort yeah. of brash, come off sometimes a little cocky. You know, they back it up. But there's plenty of people <laughs> outside like of Houston. Them. <laughs> who are rooting against them. Okay. So that's I, a good one. Yeah, that's I think those. One. You know, and there are those who, you know, um, you know, you know, tank, you know, tank because of the affiliation, you know, with uh with Mayweather and you know, and that like and, and I think, you know, one of the fights we have coming up is this Tank Garcia, Ryan, uh, Tank Davis, Ryan think, Garcia. Is that going to ha- is that, is that, yeah, happen? I'm, I'm comfortable. Don't tease that. Not yeah, that no, that. We're yeah. Ryan Garcia types around yeah, here. Yeah, so. look. I'm not. I'm Team Tank. <laughs> yeah, See, there we go. That's there we go. Try, we get that Instagram model. No, I'm, yeah, kidding, exactly. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I'm having fun it. with it. I'm having fun with it. He represented De La Hoya. He I knows know his, Instagram. But this is, this, you know, to tell you the truth, this is the this generation's De La Hoya Mayweather. True. Yes. You know, what you guys, that, that dynamic right there, it's the same thing as like Oscar was the pretty boy right you know floyd was was the villain i think in this case there are a lot of similarities and and i'm i'm confident you know it's been spending a lot of time including late last night trying to close it up and i i think we're getting close before we get to the future of what you do as a conduit as a content provider i want to talk about the 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 extent of other things you've done in with boxing the one name that we don't like that seems to just laying around as the arch criminal or arch enemy Jake Paul, tell us what you think <laughs> as a guy on that. What? Because he's helping the know, fight. Man. You know, I, I grew know, up in a man. church where you, my, my, my daddy always used to say, "Don't talk about who's doing the preaching. Listen to his words." I mm-hmm. mean, Jake Paul is good for boxing and that he's got eyes, but, but dang it, I just don't like looking at him. You know, you know what? <laughs> and and that's absolutely fine. That is absolutely fine. You know, Floyd Floyd said it best. He says, "Love me or hate me, as long as you care, as long as you watch, as True. long as you tune in." And you know, Jake, look, I was. I was probably pretty close to your camp before I sat down with him. 
um, you know, I knew him, you know, I didn't, wasn't a big YouTube guy. Yeah, like, yeah, I, me either, right? I knew the headlines. I knew some of the stuff. Uh, the, the, both he and his brother, um, look, they've been in the media eye for over a decade. You know, look, I wouldn't have wanted to be in the media eye when I was 15, right. you know, or even 22, 23. Um, they're both smart young men. You don't build multi, Great you know, point. your nine figure businesses without being smart guys. Um, but yes, look, there's, you know, he gets under people's skin, you know, really well. <laughs> and I think, look, I, 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 I am as much a boxing purist as anybody, but Jake does bring a demographic to the sport. And, and he is, it's not just about Jake, you know, he's bringing, he's a high quality, legitimate undercard with real championship level fighters. And true, he is bringing true. a spotlight to a lot of fighters who wouldn't otherwise have it. Steve, we're up against it, but I do understand the situation you're in as far as part of a, as a content deliverer. Where am I going to be watching Showtime in the next five years? And where do you see me watching? Well, look, I, I, I'm in the media industry. You know, it got to the point where people were fed up with cable and all this. Now it's getting to the point where, you know, you've got to have eight or nine apps to find everything that you, right. you want. <laughs> right. And I think we're seeing, you know, the reverse. We're seeing some consolidation. And our corporation has made a decision, you know, instead of having two separate apps, you got Paramount Plus, you know, you've got, you know, at some point you had a CBS app, you had a Showtime app. This, yeah. Now, you know, now I think it's it's all going to be coordinated through one app. You know, you want your CBS football, you want, you know, soccer, you want combat sports on Showtime, you want Yellowstone and, and all the Taylor Sheridan. It's all in Paramount Plus app, and I, I think it's a better experience for the consumer. I want to tell you guys, there's about 15 guys in the world that have a genuine effect on the sports that you partake on, it, and Steve is one of them. Thank you for stopping by today, man. Love, it's a genuine pleasure it. catching up. He's bringing the fights to San Antonio. San Antonio Saturday baby. night Showtime Championship Boxing returns to our great city. Vargas Foster, oh my goodness, and we get to see San Antonio, Mario Barrios, and Santiago as well. It gets going at 8 o'clock. Be on the couch and watching Showtime, Steve. Thanks for stopping by, man. It is always a pleasure. Great to see you guys. Thank you, man. Hey, we're going to be right back. r and in the morning continues. We're putting a bow on the show and final predictions next. You're on San Antonio Sports Star, 94.1 FM and SASportsStar.com.